Hi, I'm Srinath Kumar, a graduate student from Mosul University College of Pharmacy. The topic of my presentation is role of butyrate in inhibiting endothelial cell activation and leukocyte addition. To give a background, endothelial cells line the lumen of all blood vessels, which determines the blood vessel diameter and the blood vessel wall inflammation. Blood vessel wall inflammation initiates the process of atherosclerosis, which can lead to various other cardiovascular diseases like hypertension, stroke. So if we prevent this initial leukocyte and endothelium interaction, we could prevent the atherosclerotic cardiovascular diseases. In our research work, we are determining the effect of drugs derived from gut microbiota, such as short chain fatty acid butyrate. Butrate has received considerable interest in recent times because of their beneficial effects on the cardiovascular system. Butrate promotes anti-inflammatory effect by inhibiting nuclear factor kappa B. It also inhibits the migration and proliferation of endothelial cells via activation of free fatty acid receptor FFA3. The major objectives of our research work was to determine if butyrate could suppress the induction of ICAM-1 and VCAM-1 by suppressing NF-kappa-B and MAP kinase signaling pathways in vitro. Also, if it could physically interact with addition molecules ICAM-1 and VCAM-1 in vitro, making them inaccessible for leukocyte integrin receptors such as LFA-1 and MAC-1. The techniques used for our research work was mouse mesenteric endothelial cells were cultured and on reaching 90% confluency, they were seeded onto a six well plate. The cells were then treated with one micromolar butyrate and 10 microgram of LPS lipopolysaccharide found in gram negative bacterial cell wall. Then the protein estimation was carried out and the concentration of ICAM1 and VCAM1 was determined using ELISA and Western blotting. The results were statistically analyzed. As we move on to the results, we can see that from figure 1a, when the cells were treated with 10 microgram of LPS, there was a 2.3 fold increase in ICAM1 concentration in the endothelial cells. Similarly, from figure 1b, we can see that when the cells were treated with LPS, there was a 1.4 eight-fold increase in VCAM1 concentration. So we can conclude that LPS is a good candidate for induction of addition molecules ICAM1 and VCAM1. As we move on, when the cells were treated with one micromolar butyrate, it suppressed the LPS-induced ICAM1 upregulation in endothelial cells by 39%. And the data was found to be significant with a p-value of less than 0.05. From figure three, we can observe that when the cells were treated with butyrate, it also suppressed the LPS-induced VCAM1 upregulation in endothelial cells by approximately 18%. And the data was found to be significant with a p-value of 0.05. In the next figure, we carried out Western blot. And when the cells were treated with one micromolar butyrate, there was inhibition of LPS-induced VCAM1 upregulation in endothelial cells. We can summarize our data by saying that LPS treatment induced ICAM1 and VCAM1 upregulation in endothelial cells. Also, when the LPS-induced cells were treated with butyrate, there was suppression in ICAM1 and VCAM1 upregulation. So our future studies would aim to investigate the role of NF-kappa-B and MAP kinase signaling pathways in ICAM-1 and VCAM-1 upregulation and if butyrate could inhibit NF-kappa-B and MAP kinase signaling pathways. We will also analyze the direct physical interaction between the addition molecule ICAM-1, VCAM-1 with butyrate using mass spectrometry. These are our references. The work was supported by a research grant from Mosul University College of Pharmacy to Dr. Rakibul Hassan. We can translate this research into real world because butyrate is produced endogenously and by increasing the amount of fibrous food and by providing probiotics, the concentration of butyrate can be increased in the body, which can be beneficial for the cardiovascular health. COVID-19 has not really affected our research work because we carry out our research work every day in person in the labs. 
All thanks to our university for maintaining the COVID-19 protocols. Thank you.